Hello and welcome to the January edition of this month's experiment from the Reuben H. Fleet Science Center in San Diego, California. I'm Nicole Schiffer. And I'm Brandon Elliott. Today we are going to be making carbon, carbon dioxide. dioxide! Yeah, alright. So, a special thanks to the Pacific Science Center in Seattle for helping us out with this experiment. I'm going to explain what you need for this, but remember you can find all of our instructions, details, all things like that at our website, www.rhfleet.org. Alright. A little bit of a long list, so let's get to it. We need three empty water wa water bottles. You can recycle these kind of water bottles, like drinking water you would have. Uh, three balloons to go along with those. You'll see what we're going to do in a second with those. Some Alka-Seltzer tablets or, or some other kind of uh, effervescent tablet, antacid, non-name brand kind of thing. Uh, some uh, exploding candy kind of thing, pop rocks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> some baking soda, water. Um, we need some soda, so some yeah, regular soda, soda pop. Soda pop. Uh, white vinegar, sticky Plenty. stuff that comes in the uh, jug like that, and a measuring cup, very helpful. Teaspoon and some funnels, okay, and possibly if you also need it, some uh, measuring tape. And again, we'll have all those uh, ingredients on our website. So, Thank you so much. All right. Let's so do we've it. already pre-assembled this experiment, and it's a fourth a cup of all the liquids and one teaspoon of all the solids. And so far we put all the liquids in the bottles. So we have soda, we have vinegar, and we have water. And in here, in the balloons, we have Alka-Seltzer, we have baking soda, and then Pop Rocks. And remember you're gonna wanna use the funnel to put in the solid stuff, so it fits right in and you can open up your Pop Rocks. Yeah. Can you try some to make sure they're real Pop Rocks? Can I try some? <laughs> How long has it been since you've had Pop Rocks? Do you want to know something actual? I've never had these. I was banned. You're lying! I, my mom You're wouldn't lying. Let me have them. I'm not lying at all. So this is my first time, and it's actually on camera. This is... I can't wait till she sees it. <laughs> That's great. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay. So I've already done the work and poured it in before. Awesome. Yeah. Are they great? Mm -hmm. um, so there's already some in here. All right, so we're trying to figure out which one will produce the most carbon dioxide. And knowing that we have balloons here, what should that look like? It should be inflating the balloon. <laughs> okay, so the balloon that's most inflated will be the one that wins. Now, which one do you think will win? I'm going to guess that this one wins because, again, like my mother said, this should be making my stomach explode right now, especially when you add it with soda. So I'm going to guess... Pop Rocks are going to win. All right, so I'm going to go with the trusty Alka-Seltzer and vinegar because that's what I make my rockets out of. All right, All right. and viewers, what do you think? Alka-Seltzer. <laughs> I think and they picked Alka-Seltzer. Anyone else? Anyone else think anything else? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to do this at the same time. All right. I'll take these two. Are you done with your Pop Rocks? No, they're still going. All right, here we go. Let's right, so have a three. Ready? One, two, three. All right. Oh wow, oh wow, shake it up a little bit, oh gosh, <laughs> What's going on over there, Pop Rocks? <laughs> I'm getting nothing, sadly, surprisingly, but look at that. Look at the baking soda vinegar, oh man. That's amazing. I really thought this one would win. <laughs> I really did, I, was, I believed in it. Yeah, that's amazing, we're not really getting much of anything out of here, but we're getting some. Pretty neat, oh there we go. Cool. All right, so this one is Alka-Seltzer and water, baking soda and vinegar, and Pop Rocks and soda. Yeah. <laughs> and as you can see, the Pop Rocks and soda has produced very little carbon dioxide, so your stomach should be fine, yeah. right? Theoretically. Theoretically. Um, looks like baking soda and vinegar is the winner. The balloon is the largest. Now, if it's closer, you can use your tape measure to measure the circumference of the circle here. But... <laughs> We don't need to because it's a very clear winner. So what's going on, Brandon? Why is this happening? Well, anytime you have a chemical reaction like this, you're going to be having a new substance. And in this case, we're making carbon dioxide. We've like produced said, it. We've produced carbon dioxide wow. here with that chemical reaction that's going on in there. And this is just a really cool way to actually see how much we've made. Because we put the balloons on extra, extra tight onto the bottles, 
that carbon dioxide doesn't have anywhere to go but up into the balloon. So Great. let's say we're able to see how much we're actually producing. Super. Thank you so much. And remember at home, you can try different combinations of this. So you can try vinegar with Alka-Seltzer. You can try vinegar with the Pop Rocks and see if you vary the experiment, if you get more carbon dioxide production with some other components, mm -hmm. right? Cool. Well, thank Absolutely. you so much. Remember viewers to tune in next month for this month's experiment. And also remember, I'd like some too. All right. Are you ready? There go. Remember, yeah. do you try, try this, this at home. home. Absolutely. <laughs>